Hey guys, welcome to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's short video we're going to talk about what rod to use for crappie fishing. <clears throat> and when it comes to crappie fishing, you know, there's a lot of different rods out there, a lot, a lot of talk about it. But the first thing that I want to say is you don't need a real expensive rod to catch crappies. You can go out and catch crappies on pretty much any fishing pole. Um, you can go, you know, get a cheap pole from Walmart and catch a lot of different crappies on it. But that being said, we're, you know, we're going to talk about some different scenarios and different rods that work well there. And then I, we're going to talk about my rod right here. So uh, let's talk about my rod first. The rod that I've been using this season is right here. It's a 7 foot St. Croix Premier. It's a little bit more expensive rod. Um, and it's a medium light power. I like a rod with a little more backbone. So this is a medium light as opposed to a light action rod. And I like a, a longer rod. And a lot of it's just personal preference, but I like a longer rod. It helps you cast further. And I like the medium light power. I like a little more backbone because when I get a crappie on, you know, if you're watching a lot of my crappie videos, a lot of times, I'm just going to flip that crappie right up to, into the boat. When I get him, I'm just going to kind of hoist him and kind of just flip him, and he's going to come right to me. If you've got a rod that's too light, that's going to be hard to do. Also, if you're making longer casts, like a lot of times I'm going to have a bobber on here, when I'm, and I'm going to cast and retrieve that bobber, work it back to the, ba uh, the boat. When you've got a lot of line out there and you're way out there, if you're using monofilament, you're going to need a, a rod with a little more backbone to set the hook when you've got that you know that bait way out there so a little more backbone in your rod the medium light is going to help in that scenario now if you're fishing crappies in the springtime and you're fishing reeds or you're fishing trees a lot of times you know and you're sight fishing for these crappies or you're sight fishing for the spot that you want to drop your bait um, it's nice to have a real long rod so in that scenario you might want you know a seven to nine foot rod um, and if you're going to be fishing docks and stuff, like a lot of guys, they'll, sh they'll do a technique called dock shooting. I'm going to try to shoot a video like that uh, here pretty soon. But they'll take a smaller light action rod um, and they'll bend it, hold on to the bait, and then let go and let that, that rod shoot that bait under the dock. In that scenario, a lighter or a shorter rod with a light action will help. But I want you guys to understand that to go out and catch crappies, you don't need an expensive rod. You can go and buy any rod from Walmart or anything like that, and it'll work fine. Now, if you're going to do it a lot, buying a, a little bit nicer rod, uh, it's, it's going to give you a better feel. It's going to give you a better fight. If you're going to do it a lot, going out and buying a nicer rod, is I would recommend it. Like I said, I've been using the St. Croix Premier 7-foot uh, medium light power and I, I love this rod um, I might I might get a light action rod but you know then you maybe aren't gonna be hoisting it up into the boat you're gonna have to net more fish you're gonna get maybe a little bit better fight but you're gonna lose some stuff too with the lighter action so that that's kind of my thoughts on rods for real this is a Shimano 2500 FL um, when it comes to reel, I like a smaller light reel, but you don't need it. You know, any wheel, you can use your walleye rod and reel for crappies just fine. But uh, you know, if you're gonna buy one just for crappies, I like a lighter reel. You don't need a huge spool on it because crappies aren't gonna be making big runs, pulling a lot of drag. However, if you have a bigger spool, that's gonna help you with long distance casts. But uh, you know, you can make anything work. So. I, you know, when, when you, if you're going out to get a crappie rod, if you're just getting started in crappie fishing, you can start out with whatever rod you have, or you can go to Walmart or some other store and buy a cheaper rod and do just fine. If you're really going to get into crappie fishing, buying a little more expensive rod, um, you know, it'll have its benefits. For a beginner's rod, I like a 6'6 or a 7 foot rod. Um, and I like the medium power, just a little bit more backbone. It's going to make it a little easier to catch some fish, but basically any rod is going to be fine. So I hope this video helps you, uh, helps you make the right rod choice. If it does, hit the thumbs up or the like button. 
Also, if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do videos just like this to help you catch more and bigger fish. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.